We're gonna do a little bit of science mixed with math. Okay. We're in a new world, right? So you have to change and you have to adapt. Would you like to share your haiku with the group? Okay. A lot of resources say being outdoors is the safest way to interact right now. How many inches is that? Four. Four. I see them thriving outdoors. They're retaining more. Amphibian means both land and water. This has like three different types of moths right here. It's kind of like school, but better. You know, this has never been done before. We're making history and it's an honor in, in a weird way. With school about to start, there are so many unanswered questions. Like, how do you safely reopen classrooms? How do you deal with the shortcomings of teaching online? And how do you let kids just be kids and play with their friends at school? Well, here in Marin, some educators are starting to find answers, and they're finding them out here in the woods. So who's gonna play first? C. C plays first, right? Strumming a ukulele under the trees. G. It's the stuff summer camp memories are made of. But this camp is a little different. It's an amazing opportunity to try something new. For months, these kids have been stuck learning at home. It was pretty annoying, like all that online Zoom stuff. I didn't really like it. Teachers did what they could to make it work. They got what they needed in terms of academics. And then, of course, we discovered that's not enough. So at Terra Marin, a private school in Mill Valley, they embarked on a bold experiment. To pilot the total learning experience outside. Do they smell like bay leaves? Yeah. Tara Marin has always had earth education. Because the best teacher is nature. They bring students out into the woods at least one day a week. But this camp is a preview of what school could look like with kids learning outside every day. Can you read it nice and loud so that we can hear you? It turns out the natural world is a good inspiration for poetry. I see the river. I see the river running. The river is cold. Are you sure the river is cold? It is. Go feel it. And being face to face gives kids the interaction they've been missing. Yeah, it's cold. Kids need to connect. Kids need to find a way to kind of be part of something. And so far, kids are quick to say they like this better than regular school. Because when I'm in a classroom, it's like I feel like I'm in a plastic box. But when I'm out here, I feel great. And for parents, it couldn't come soon enough. We had major cabin fever. <laughs> I was working at home all day and also trying to do online learning with the kids, which was basically totally impossible. But out here among the trees, teachers say kids are paying attention and learning from the world around them. They get to touch it, they get to experience it, so they're engaged, which is, you know, a teacher's dream come true. Tara Marin can do this because the county government allowed for something called pods, groups of 12 students who are together for at least three weeks and only socialize with other pod members. Even the teachers limit their physical contact outside the circle. That's actually the toughest thing is to keep this program coherent and that the teachers who are out there don't feel alone and unsupported. The issue is not spilling the milk. The issue is the refusal to clean up. With daily check-ins and weekly seminars like this one, the school gives teachers virtual support as they teach in the physical world. So that's stop the world. You're stopping the child's world until they clean up. Who's ready for Stealth Master? Me. Just up the road, another new idea is taking shape. Every animal drinks, right? And so if we're trying to find animals, getting a hiding spot that's near the water is a good idea. This summer camp is part of VILDA, a nature education nonprofit. They've restructured the camp around county guidelines with smaller groups and longer sessions. The instructors are really happy about it because they get to really form a contact with the kids. Well, can you wear your mask, please? For the school year, VILDA's hoping to add the missing ingredients for kids who are going to school at home or online. It's one part socializing. <laughs> one part sunshine. When children have been outside in nature for part of their day, they're able to focus better. And the kids say seeing their friends in person is way different than on a screen. Because when you're out, actually out here, then you actually get to play and stuff. We're on Zoom, you can only like talk about it. For kids who just learn better out here, Vilda might take it a step further. We're looking at our programs and saying, how can we help parents with the curriculum that they need to cover? Can we do more biology? Can we do more reading and writing? <laughs> As they splash around without a care in the world, their instructor can't help but think these kids are the lucky ones. I think that some kids are getting left behind and there's an economic 
um, divide that may be exacerbated in this coming school year. Though Vilda's new programs are priced on a sliding scale, they're still expensive because each instructor can only work with 12 kids. To join a group that meets three or four days a week, it could cost a thousand bucks a month or more. At Terra Marin, it's a similar story. It's not cheap. I do know that. Full tuition is $33,000 to be part of the 12 student pods they're calling micro schools scattered throughout San Francisco, Marin, and the peninsula. However, if we expand it to just 16 students, we can offer scholarships, and it actually benefits all children to have the social economic diversity in their classroom. The school says that's up to state and local health authorities, and rules are changing from one week to the next. It can't be just for affluent people. Um, it's got to be affordable for, I think, everyone. This is going to be tasty. Whoa. School and camp leaders say they want all kids to know the joy of fresh wild berries and sweet smelling flowers. Some say they hope other educators follow their lead. To bring them into nature and say this is where math and creativity and science started. Rub our hands together slowly. There are still so many unanswered questions, but one thing's for sure. It's the start of a new school year that these kids will never forget. One of the strange positives of this difficult time is that people are spending more time outdoors, and that's great. One, two, 